Okay, Melissa, thanks. Stopping your news headlines, police are looking for a suspect connected to a Fayetteville shooting. The shooting happened on New Year's Eve near the High Point Apartments on Curtis Avenue. One person was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Police say they are still looking for the person responsible for this shooting. If you have any information, you are asked to call the Fayetteville Police Department. Police are investigating another shooting, this one in Fort Smith. The shooting happened on Monday along North 20th Street. One person was injured and is expected to be okay. Police say they believe the shooting was an accident, but an investigation is ongoing. In more local news, the number of deadly crashes in Arkansas was lower in 2018 compared to previous years. There were nearly 500 deaths as a result of car crashes last year. 2017's numbers are similar, but in 2016, more than 500 people died in a car crash. The numbers are not quite as high in 2015, but still in the 500s. The new year brings new terms for Arkansas officials. Prosecuting attorney Nathan Smith and his deputies were sworn in for Benton County. This is Smith's second term as prosecuting attorney. He says he wants to continue the momentum his team already has, telling us they filed more criminal cases in the county than ever before. That's the goal going forward is to make sure that we as a community uh, keep this a, a safe place to live, a thriving part of the state to live in. Every elected official who begins their term this year is sworn in by a judicial officer in Arkansas. Happening today, Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson will make a special announcement in Fort Smith. The governor is expected to name the next Arkansas State Highway Commissioner. That's happening at noon at the Fort Smith Regional Chamber of Commerce. We will have an update for you tonight right here on KNWA. Looking ahead, the Veterans Healthcare System of the Ozarks will continue to update patients on the ongoing case review stemming from a former impaired pathologist. A town hall meeting is scheduled for later this month. It will be held at 11 in the morning at the Fayetteville VA location. The town hall is open to veterans, their families, and anyone interested in the pathology review updates. New Year resolutions can help your children make smart decisions during the new year. If you're still figuring out what goals to set, the American Academy of Pediatrics shared a list of resolutions. The Academy suggests habit-forming resolutions for preschoolers. Things like cleaning up toys and washing hands after using the bathroom. You can start incorporating bigger goals for older children, like drink more water, be active, and practice safety online. And for teenagers, resolutions can be anything from eating enough fruits and vegetables to healthy ways to manage stress. A local business may be able to help you reach your 2019 fitness goals in a unique and fun way. KNWA Today's Ankir Kazuka joining us live in Lowell to show us around the Flipside Ninja Park. I'm excited to see this. Ankirika, good morning. 